Right here, you see a little demonstration stand, and uh, it collapses down so it easily fits into a suitcase or a bag, and we're going to show you how you put it together. All right, once the demo fix is assembled, then you will take your laser heads, and it's quite easy to mount them. You simply slide them right over the posts and lock them into place with these yellow tabs. At that point, you have now a laser system in place. So I'll uncover the laser itself as well as the target. I turn the units on, so the laser is now on, the target is on, you see the uh, red LEDs light up, and at that point I can begin positioning the laser with the knobs on the front of it for both horizontal and vertical positioning. And you'll see that the LEDs surrounding the target switch from red when the laser is not hitting the target to green when it's properly adjusted. So I know that the system is now ready to use. All right, so you've seen how to demonstrate the program and now you know how to set up the laser heads and adjust the laser. So far, pretty easy. I'm gonna show you how to actually demonstrate the communication between the analyzer and the laser heads. Now this assumes that you've gone into the comm settings and actually paired them over the Bluetooth communication. So here we are on the setup screen. So I'm going to accept this. I've got my dimensions entered and it's now waiting for me to sweep the heads. So I'm going to press initialize. It now has uh, established the Bluetooth communication and the screen is telling me to sweep the heads. So now I'm going to pick up my demo fix. I'm going to hold it by the middle. Now it will sag slightly. So if I rotate like this, we will actually simulate a misalignment. Set it back down. And over on the meter, I'll press retrieve data. So it's now retrieving the data and moving immediately over to the live move screen. After retrieving the data from the laser heads, we come immediately into the machine move screen. So first we see the vertical machine move. And this is where, in this case, we would be shimming the motor in order to make the correction. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to press uh, F6 to move to the horizontal move. And in this case, there's not a lot of misalignment showing. However, we're going to press Live Move to demonstrate that. Then press Enter. And when we press Start, we can now use the adjustment on the laser to demonstrate how the alignment shifts as I rotate the wheels on the laser head itself. So there you can see it moving out of alignment and back in. Now normally you would be moving the machine and not the laser itself, but this is a good way to simulate to an end user how the live move works. And when you're finished, you simply press stop. And now you have a complete record of your alignment job that can be uploaded to our AMS Machinery Manager software.